Hello guys, this is Dank Nova, and today I received a yo-yo that I ordered about a week ago. Actually, I guess I ordered it on Monday and I just received it. Today's Thursday. From Yo-Yo Expert, I got the C3 token. Okay, it's a really nice yo-yo. I chose the blue and gold whatever splash throw. And it's a miniature throw, okay? Um, I've been wanting a miniature throw for a long time, okay? I've been waiting for the Yo-Yo Factory to bring back their pop star. But, you know, they only produced so little. When there's a high demand, I waited a year I'm not gonna spend fifty, sixty dollars on, or that's actually hundred dollar miniature yo-yos. I'm not gonna spend that much money on miniature yo-yos, and I'm not gonna go to some weird website to buy a pop star that's for fifty or forty dollars when it's supposed to be twenty bucks. Okay, I've been waiting. And I just saw this on C3, the section of the what the C3 yo-yo. It's Sonya ex Expert. I I was just looking through all their yo-yos, and then I was like, oh, let me see with C3. I've been I've always wanted a C3 yo-yo, and then I saw a token. And I was like, oh, that's that looks cool for thirty dollars. Let me see that yo-yo, and I found out it's a miniature, and I was like. Oh, I've been looking for an undersized yo-yo that's not the yo-yo factory boss or any other miniature yo-yo because they're all very expensive and they pretty much suck okay I'm not gonna spend more than forty dollars on a yo-yo that is small and does not play like an average size yo-yo okay um, I'm, I'm tired of companies knowing they know people like small things they, they like things that are tiny versions of whatever okay they know that okay at there's less aluminum I, I don't care if your machines uh, it costs more to make smaller yo-yos I don't I don't care but I'm not gonna pay a lot okay for a small yo-yo that does not perform like an average size yo-yo that's not gonna exist anytime soon okay the pop star is actually rated up there okay it's rated high a lot of people on reddit look for it people are screwing each other over by overpricing them pop star yo-yo factory does know this and and if i get a message or a comment from yo-yo factory saying no we don't yes i emailed you guys you guys knew i know you guys look at reddit one of your members look at reddit and you see people saying i want the pop star when are they coming back i've been waiting for i don't know how long for a pop star and then you guys never 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 bring it back okay you produce so little knowing you know Okay, it's like the shutter. People want shutters. Okay, right? Yes, and Horizons. Yes, they're two of the one of the most, um, you know, sold yo-yos. Okay, you guys know. You guys know. You guys have a team of smart people. You guys know what you guys are doing, and so what you do is that you want pe people want many yo-yos. So you have your what is it? The sixty-six percent or whatever yo-yo yo-yos you have of the bar barracuda the I don't, I don't know I don't care and they're very expensive you know the flea yeah let that be expensive let the flea be expensive but if I know that the pop star was twenty dollars why in the hell do I want to spend money on just a mini version of already made yo-yos they're stupid okay they don't play just as well as the larger you know counterpart they don't they suck 
Okay, the spin time sucks. How long they last on the string or whatever, spin time sucks. The you landing your tricks are gonna suck. People are not gonna see from far away what you're doing because it's small, so it sucks. Okay. Yet people will spend money on it, and you guys know that. So, please bring the pop star back. I, I was waiting to be like, oh, I was gonna buy two or three of them. Throwing money at you guys, but you guys don't want my money, right? Well, you want other people's money, they're a little stupid, to buy you very expensive miniature yo-yos. And other companies do this, okay? They, they all do this. The mini yo-yos are like, oh, we're going to crank up the price. We're going to say something like the machinery. The machinery. It's like fingerboards, okay? You get... I got a fingerboard from Amazon, less than $10. It's got the little tiny plywood, whatever. It's really nice. But then some people are like, oh, I got my, my little fingerboard for $80 in total with all the parts, $150, because the machinery to make something so small is expensive. Okay, your factories are in China, most of you guys. Like, Yo-Yo Factory, okay, your, your factories are not in America, okay, because it says made in China on some of your Yo-Yos. Okay, and I know an ounce of aluminum does not cost as much as an ounce of silver. But you charge more than silver. For sure. For something so small. So I, I don't care if it's more expensive to make. I don't care. But you're overpricing your small yo-yos. So I am excited to get this one. I'm probably going to get another one. I don't, I don't know how this plays. But I've been waiting a year for a decent priced miniature yo-yo, brand new. I, I'm not going to buy, sell, trade. Those are, I'm sorry, but no, I, I no. I want a new undersized or miniature yo-yo that's $30 or less, like the Popstar, which Yo-Yo Factory knows people want, but they're not gonna sell it again. Maybe later. But, you know, I emailed them. They said, no, we don't have any plans to produce them again. I showed that to the Reddit. They downvoted me saying that email is fake. It's not fake. Okay. And my hopes were high. And I've been waiting patiently for the pop star. Because I'm not going to spend $50 online for a pop star from some other knockoff site or <sighs> well I'm, I'm excited about this one though so I'm gonna see how well it plays I'm gonna open it up in a bit and guess what I'm gonna throw my money on C3 again I'm gonna buy another one different colors it looks really nice man it looks really nice. I've been wanting a miniature yo-yo for a long time, or an undersized, okay. I, I don't care if it doesn't perform as well or anything. I just want, I've always wanted one that's, un, that's $30 or under. That's all, okay. And I, I know there's other, webs, uh, there's other companies that make miniature yo-yos that are under $30. Things like King Yo and I don't know what. They have bad reviews and they're knockoff, whatever. I only buy my yo-yos from Yo-Yo Expert, not from any other website. I know there's a few others, but I just, I stick with Yo-Yo Expert. They never let me down. Their, their customer service is awesome, okay? Fast, awesome, and they are reliable. If anything, they'll help you out, okay? They help, they help you out really good. I have high respect to yo -Yo, to yo yo expert. Okay, they 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 make me happy. And I saw this on their site. I accidentally bumped into the token. Man, the colors are nice. Cause you know how companies like Yo Yo Factory they'll charge you a lot just to put splashes. Or like one drop and stuff like uh, other companies they they charge like a good 
five to ten dollars more just to put a splash what I like about C3 is they don't they don't do that okay um, the packaging is nice everything about them is nice okay it reminds me of my kilter when I first got my kilter you know the Chinese brand whatever people say I take I take my 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 kilter three to school that's the only throw I take to school okay I, I, I sure have the Colossus I got the bimetals and the aviator and all, all these awesome yo-yos you know that range from 25 all the way to $120 the only one I take to school is the kilter and now it's gonna be this one I've been wanting a miniature yo-yo so I can take around campus because you know bigger yo-yos come on man I'm not gonna yeah, I know this okay well, when I bought my kilter at the time it was $25 and they brought it back up to 30 or something this cost and this cost more than my than my kilter 3 from yo-yo officer this costs more but I want to take this out more it looks great it's beautiful it's small it's it's awesome you know I wear fancy clothes I could put this on my fancy clothes pants pockets whatever you know I have really nice fancy clothes that I can just no one's gonna see this big bulging yo-yo out of my pocket no th look at this that's why I've been waiting for a pop star which yo-yo factory knowingly does not produce even though they know that people demand it okay because a lot of people do not want to spend money on a yo-yo uh, on an ex like okay just just think about it would you spend sixty dollars on a miniature yo-yo that doesn't perform anything like you could take it places people go oh wow it looks nice yeah you can only do one or two tricks at a time that's cool we don't really care we don't know because the tricks you do are awesome anyways but nice small tiny yo-yo that's all they're gonna say and sixty dollars for that when I just imagine a nice sixty dollar throw from like one drops or whatever company you like and you bring that out, people, and you're doing amazing tricks. The spin time is so awesome. Where are you gonna spend your money on? Something like that, or on a little tiny mini yo-yo that doesn't spin <laughs> as long as you're awesome? What sixty dollars should get get you with an average size yo-yo? Okay, I'm, I'm, but it, I guess it's for those collectors. Like that's what. Um, companies know they know you want something small they know you're a yo-yo collector so they screw you over sell you something tiny and it sucks it, it, it sucks I know this is not gonna play as good as my buy metals or as my aviator checkpoint I, I don't know maybe it will play good I haven't played it but I just know it won't compete to a full-size yo-yo compete with a full-size yo-yo that's what I meant but I've always wanted something like this okay I've been waiting a year well back then 2000 I think it was 2014 or 13 the pop star what the first pop star was out I looked at the store I was like oh I was gonna buy it but my first metal yo-yo was a shutter and I wanted to get something else. So my second one was I think a benchmark H from one drop. And I, I, I just ignored getting the pop star, the first pop star, pop star one. Because I wanted to focus on average size yo-yos and find where where uh, which one I like. And I found out that I'm more in W shape, W V shape type of guy you know H eh, O eh, 
V, yay. W, it's still up there. So V and W shape, that's me, okay? So I, I let me find out what kind of guy I am, what kind of a yo-yo shape guy I am. And then I'll get a mini yo-yo. And then when I went on the website, guess what? Popstar 1 was sold out. Awesome. It's 2018, and I still haven't got my hands on a pop star. Okay. Sure, I have all these very expensive, awesome yo yos. But I want a pop star because I don't want to spend $60, $80 as much as what those babies way over there cost on a mini yo yo. I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to blow more money on C3. I'm going to get another token. And I. If you guys do come out with a pop star again, I'm not gonna buy two or three of them. I'll buy one. But it would be nice if you guys would always produce them to meet the demands of throwers. Okay, they've. I know some people asked you guys nicely. Hey, when is this coming back? May you guys make some? Can you guys inform us when's the next run of your pop stars coming out? Just be honest, say never. Or yes, we will on February or March. But we're only going to make 50 of them because we can. <laughs> And then while you see other people enjoy miniature yo-yos, you should spend money in our 60 to $80 range of miniature yo-yos. Uh, and what's sad, that when you do buy those very expensive miniature yo-yos, you're only gonna play for a little bit. It's just gonna sit and collect dust. I play with all my yo-yos, I play with all of them, okay? Except the ones I have a copy of. Like, I have two Space Cowboys. One stays in the box, and the others to play with. Okay? But, I, what am I going to do with a miniature yo-yo? I'm, I'm going to play it. I'm going to, I, I sure to get my aim or whatever better, but I'm not going to be trying to master anything on a miniature yo-yo. Okay, I'm not going to learn new tricks that will be difficult to land on a miniature yo-yo. I'll bring it to school. Or to, not a park, it's too windy. Um, to the mall or whatever that's indoors. But I'm not, I'm not going to spend money on a little yo-yo. That costs as much as a high performance yo-yo. It's just gonna collect dust but I guess the people who do buy the miniature yo-yos they're for high price they have an addiction problem they compulsively buy things a lot of things okay I'm like that with paints and and cards and stuff but I use those cards okay I, I make decks and stuff like that I I compulsively buy pens and guess what I use them all I use them all. Okay, but uh, people who like to buy novelty yo-yos, awesome, cool. But it's not silver, it's not gold, and it's not platinum. It's no, it's not going to increase value as you hold on to it. There's always going to be something better coming out. So I hope Pop Store comes back so I can get one. And I'm excited to play with this. Token from C3 Yo Yo Design. Man. The most affordable undersized yo yo I found. That's from an actual good brand. Not those cheap ones you see on Amazon. And... Oh, man. Mmm.
Wow. It's just amazing. It's got a good weight to it too. It comes with the string. Um, I don't know if I should use this or my kitty string. But man, I've been waiting so long for a miniature or undersized throw. Mm. Quality. Wow. I'm going to string that baby up and I'm going to play it. So yeah, sorry about my rant. Oh, and to Yo-Yo Factory, take off your arrows off plastic yo-yos. Those little arrows, just take them off. They bug people. I, I talk to people, they, it bugs them. It makes it seem like their yo-yos are misaligned. Because the first time, yeah, the two arrows are aligned. After a while, it just, take off, take off the damn arrows. Okay, all these other companies don't have arrows to tell you, you should align here like we're all children, okay? Take them off. Your Yo-Yo Factory Whip does not have arrows. Your Yo-Yo Factory 1 does not have arrows. But everything else magically does. That's plastic. It has arrows. Take them off. Just get rid of them. You'll thank me later. If not... Man, you guys seriously have something. You want to make a little bit more money? I bet just removing arrows and bringing back the pop star would be good. But sorry about my rant. I rant again, and again, and again, and again. But I finally got what I've been waiting for. That's not the pop star, but oh, look at that. Just so. The weight, it's just so nice. I've been waiting for something like this. Thanks a lot, Yo Yo Factory. But thank you, C3, for making my dreams come true. You guys make me happy. Thank you. Anyways, uh, if you like this video, press a like. If you agree with me, press a like. Just press a like, because I, I, I would deeply appreciate it. And if you have not subscribed to me yet, please do so. Um, I will be coming out with more videos soon. And until then, I'll see you later.